Hello guys and welcome to today's episode where today we are going to be doing something pretty awesome. Now basically what we are going to be doing in today's episode is we are going to be taking some of your guys comments and I am going to be implementing them into the actual video. Now you guys may ask yourselves how does this actually work? Well, a few weeks ago I actually made a video and in that video I actually asked you guys what sort of attacks you would like to see with this account. Now some of you guys commented some serious attack strategies and uh, that was that was pretty funny to me because I actually wanted some attacks which were funny and fun to watch for you guys. Basically something along the lines of uh, mass golem attacks or something like that. So basically I got a single comment which actually uh, was a funny comment and uh, I am going to link that, uh, not link it, I am going to show it to you guys on your screen. It should pop up on your screen right about now and uh, basically what, the co what this comment says, it is something along the lines of take some troops which only target defenses and I thought that was a pretty innovative idea and so I think I'm going to be doing this in this episode. But for the first attack we actually have a strategy which I use in war and this is a pretty good strategy, I will show you how to actually use it. I may not get a 3 star because my Valkyries and my Golems are only level 1 but for the next attack we are actually going to be doing the main thing of the actual episode and we are going to be taking uh, troops which only target defenses. So I'm going to be taking 2 Golems, let's say about like uh, 15 Hog Riders or something like that, so here we go 15 Hog Riders. What else targets only defenses? I think nothing else really. So yeah, literally nothing else only targets defenses. Well, actually uh, the balloons do and uh, the giants also. So uh, there we go. So we are going to be doing a pretty weird attack strategy. No idea what this is going to end up uh, at. And so we have, uh, this is the actual army we are going to be using in the second attack. So we have two golems, 15 hog riders, 5 balloons and 8 giants. This is a pretty weird attack strategy. And for the spells, the uh, person actually didn't comment any spells. So I'm just going to take my own spells. I'm going to be taking 2 heal spells and a single raid spell for the balloons to actually get raged up and for the hog riders to obviously get healed. Now that strategy is most likely not going to work because I only have level 1 golems and level 1 hog riders. So the hog riders, they will die out really fast. And basically all of my troops are Town Hall level 7 troops, so that is really bad. I know I have not been playing on this account too much, I am sorry you guys. If you guys actually want to see more uh, sort of videos with this account, let me know down below in the comment section. That would really help me out because if you guys actually want to see more videos on this account, obviously I will start playing on this account. That is how this works. And so yeah, let's go ahead and actually find a base and you know what? I'm going to attack the third base. So here we go. This is the first base. Let's go ahead and find the second base. So this is the second base. And we are going to be attacking the third base, which is this no matter what. So this is a Town Hall 9. This is not the base I actually wanted to land on. But anyways, this guy is a Town Hall 9 with sort of Town Hall level 8 uh, defenses. So that is still okay. So you know what? We are just going to go for it. Why not? So here we go. Let's go in from uh, which side. Let's test out if he has any Clan Castle troops first. So let's go ahead and deploy a single like uh, a Wallbreaker maybe. So here we go. Wallbreaker. So there are actually no troops in the Clan Castle. So that is really good. So let's go ahead and go in from the top side of the base. Dropping in two Golems obviously. And uh, let's drop in the rest of the Wizards. Well, what do I mean the rest of the Wizards? I didn't even drop a single wizard's piece so I, blah, I can't even talk what the hell am I saying but uh, yeah let's go ahead and drop in the wall breakers hopefully they don't don't the, 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 don't get targeted by the wizard tower wow guys it's like I'm having a freaking seizure here what the hell so hopefully the Valkyrie is going to the center of the base if not then I'm going guys what the hell is going, is going on literally this raid couldn't go worse uh, like what Valkyries go into the center? What are you doing? Let's just rage them up. Hopefully they can do something. I mean, I, 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 I really, I, I wanted to actually show you guys how to do this, but uh, literally this is not working out as planned. So you know what? Let's just drop in all of the balloons just randomly. Let's drop uh, the uh, actual minions, dropping in the archers, and uh, let's. I mean, we literally already messed up the raid from the beginning. 
So, uh, you know what? Let's, uh, I'm just dropping in all the balloons. Balloon parade! Yay! Woohoo! Balloon parade! Hark! Right out. Okay, what the hell? Anyways, I'm going crazy, but the balloons are taking out some defenses. We have some minions on top with a Valkyrie and a single Archer taking out that Elixir, which is good. We do need some loot because this actual base, my base meaning this base, this base meaning my base, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but that, what, I don't even know what I wanted to say. This base meaning my base, uh, doesn't have any loot that is what I wanted to say and we aren't even going to get the one star wow this attack was so bad literally wow I should um, um yeah I wow I, I'm just gonna end the raid right here because literally this was one of the worst attacks I have ever had okay maybe not the worst attack I have ever had but one of the worst I mean literally what the hell like 28 trophies minus uh, minus 28 trophies basically and 43% zero star what the hell was I doing return back to base anyways let's go ahead and actually gem up the second army which is what the hell that's going to cost us 46 gems are you mad 46 gems that is a <laughs> that is a hell of a lot of gems but you know what for the sake of this episode we are actually going to go ahead and do this so here we go 45 gems at down the drain basically and uh, let's uh, not boost him let's just uh, heal up the barbarian king and uh, so there we go we also have to gem up the spells well wow, gemming is so expensive i didn't know that so uh, anyways I actually wanted to use a raid spell and uh, not a heal spell, but you know what, now we only have heal spells, so we will just have to go with it. So let's go ahead and actually, again, we are going to be attacking one of the three first bases, so you know what, Town Hall 7, that is not really going to be fair. Another Town Hall 8, uh, I don't know if I want to attack this guy, you know what, let's go ahead and actually find a good raid, because I do need some loot, we are just going to waste like a ton of loot right now, a ton of Dark Elixir, obviously, because of the Golems and the actual Hog Riders, not that we are going to get too much loot off of a base that we will find because obviously we will have to get through all of the defenses first for the rest of the units to actually target the uh, the rest the rest of the structures basically so uh, i really do not know if this is going to go well so you know what i am actually uh should we attack this guy i'm not quite sure what is what the what name is that 26655 what the hell? Anyways, no, we are not going to be attacking this guy. Let's go ahead and find another village. Hopefully, we can find one in a matter of a few seconds now. And if not, I will have to uh, edit the episode here. But you know what? Let's you know what? Let's just go ahead and take one of the next three bases. I know I've, I have changed my mind so many times, but here we go. This is the first base, and actually, this guy we are going to be attacking. This guy he has a ton of gold, a uh, a good amount of elixir, and a very bad amount of dark elixir. But you know what? This guy, we are going to be attacking him, and should we actually go for the troll? He is basically trying to troll some people, and you know what? I mean, we literally, we already have a troll army, so you know what? We are actually going to be going ahead and doing a troll versus troll, so here we go. Let's troll this guy with our troll army, whilst this guy is going to troll us, so this is going to be pretty hilarious. Here we go, dropping in the two golems, let's drop in all of the hog riders right now, dropping in the five balloons, and obviously the eight giants. So here we go, this is the, wow, this is just going to be mad. Let's go ahead, drop in a heal spell, no idea why I actually dropped that, that was such a waste. But anyways, all of the balloons are already going to go down, obviously, because the actual defenses are in the center of the base. Let's go ahead, drop another heal spell over here on those hog riders, so they don't get taken out by that uh, wizard tower. And we also dropped another hog rider, another hog rider, what the hell, another the heal spell on the left hand side of the base so we do have loads of hogs actually wow look at these golems and the actual giants this is hilarious like literally what the hell and uh, actually we are going to get through the space or are we wow that hog rider it got taken down what is this hog rider going to do 12 hour shield and we literally only have the <laughs> this is so funny we have so many giants and golems literally doing basically nothing i mean literally what Wow, this, this is pretty funny. I mean, look, all of these giants and this poor cannon, it stands no chance of doing anything to this base, uh, to this base, I say, to my units. Look at this, a full health golem, too many golems, and all of the giants. This is crazy. So all of the golems and the actual giants are going to move on to this final defense over here being another cannon. And you know what? Let's go ahead and actually deploy the Barbarian King in the center. So this is an epic Barbarian versus Barbarian King fight. Barbarian King versus Barbarian King fight. So you know what? We are not going to be using the King ability. We want this to be fair. And what the hell is going on? Why is my King not winning? What is going on? This is so not right. This should not actually happen. Why is his King actually winning? What? What? 
How, how did his king almost win? Oh, what? I'm so confused. Anyways, guys, let's actually go ahead and pop the king ability because we only have, uh, basically, we have no defense left. And uh, let's get a little bit of gold because that is uh, what we actually came for. But this was pretty funny. Troll versus troll. Now we have the barbarian king and some barbarians helping out taking out the rest of the structures obviously we are not going to be getting the 100 percent because we only have well we have a full golem uh, left and uh, some giants and the barbarian king obviously with his little barbarian helpers we just took out the town hall getting us that one star and we are taking out the rest of the dark elixir and there is still some dark elixir left so where is the dark elixir storage i really here it is but this is on an upgrade meaning there is no dark elixir in that so there is no other dark elixir in uh, the base so i would assume the rest of the Dark Elixir is in the actual clan castle. Let's have a look. 52 Dark Elixir left, and that clan castle just got taken down, meaning there is zero Dark Elixir left in the actual base. So that is really good. We took out all of the Dark Elixir, even though it wasn't a lot. But we have our Barbarian King up and running. We have a full size golem, which is still pretty unbelievable. And some giants, obviously. And uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. This is pretty funny, actually. And uh, one second left in the raid. 52% two star. And let's have a look at the actual loot 222,000 gold and 190,000 elixir. 254,000. 1,000. Dark Elixir, not 1,000 Dark Elixir, wow, imagine that, 254,000 Dark Elixir, that would be insane, literally, just imagine that, I mean, I think the best amount of Dark Elixir I have gotten in a raid is about five or 7,000 Dark Elixir, and I think that is the actual max you can get from a single raid, so, um, yeah, I don't know what I am even talking about, so, uh, anyways, let's return back to base, we got a star bonus, so that is pretty good, 120,000 of each, so, guys, now we have 1.1 million loot, uh, 1.1 million gold, actually, in our base, meaning, we can actually go ahead and upgrade some more walls, so, here we go, level 6 wall going up to level 7, 1, 2, 3, okay, I missed that, I was, I was so out of that countdown, what the hell, anyways, let's go ahead and actually get this countdown correct on this wall, so, 3, 2, 1, boom, there we go, now we got the countdown correctly, let's go and uh, upgrade another wall up to level 7, 3, 2, 1, boom, another wall, and another wall, we are going to be doing this one in 3, 2, 1, boom, another wall, and one more wall, another one, and another one, I'm sorry, so here we go, we are going to upgrade this level 6 wall to level 7, 3, 2, 1, boom, uh, wow, okay, so, sorry, sorry about that, I didn't realise, so here we go again, 3, 2, 1, boom, and there we go, so we upgraded about a total of like five or six walls up to level seven i think so that is pretty good can we actually upgrade the walls with the elixir i don't think so so no we can't and what about the level seven walls no we can't so when do the actual uh, walls start where you can upgrade them with the elixir let me know down below in the comment section i think it is level nine walls but i'm not quite sure if you can upgrade level eight walls with elixir i don't know i literally i have no idea i am so i have a blackout right now but anyways we are going to be collecting the rest of this loot and you know what guys i think we could could end the episode here can we upgrade anything else in the base that is the question so we could upgrade the healer but that's not going to help us because we do not use the healer at all and uh, so we are going to go ahead and find something else if there is anything else can we upgrade the barracks yes we could if we had enough elixir and you know what we have some loot in the actual storage here in the treasury so uh, that would be enough to upgrade one more wall so here we go three to one boom and uh, yeah so can we now upgrade the actual barracks so uh, no we can't we can't quite yet so you know what should we actually you know what let's go ahead and do a mass goblin raid and get some elixir just real quick like literally so fast nobody will even see it uh, so just so we get some uh, you know some elixir to upgrade the barracks and so here we go let's um let's jam all of these goblins up 32 goblins and you know what let's go ahead and find an actual base really really quick and then we are going to end the episode so 99,000 elixir 131,000 elixir and uh, we are not finding a base quite yet so you know what i will have to probably no you know what scratch that i was about to say we will have to uh, edit the uh, this part out so we end the episode uh, faster but we just found a base so you know what we are just going to go ahead and actually spam all of our goblins in this base because this guy this guy has so much loot and we only need two million uh, elixir to actually upgrade the uh, barracks so we are just spamming all of our goblins in this base uh, and that is pretty awesome so all of the goblins getting spammed into the base and that is going to be it for the goblins 
and we got all of the loot so you know what I don't think the goblins are going to do any more damage to this base so literally let's go ahead and actually surrender so here we go surrendering 200,000 elixir and now we can actually upgrade a barracks can we actually upgrade the dark elixir barracks that is a question and uh, no we can't what about the other dark elixir barracks and uh, no we still can't so you know what I'm just going to go ahead and actually upgrade a single uh, a single what is it the uh, elixir barracks and that is going to basically reduce the to the training time of the P.E.K.K.A. so that is really good 2 million elixir 3 to 1 boom there we go another barracks going up to level uh, what is it up to level 10 I believe so yes it is up to level 10 and uh, so I am going to end the episode here so sorry for this uh, short like ending which was kind of confusing but anyways, I'm going to end the episode here. So guys, if you did enjoy this episode, then please do make sure to smash that like button. Let's go ahead and actually aim for an insane amount of likes. Let's try and hit 20 likes on this episode. That would be absolutely awesome. I believe you guys can absolutely smash it, annihilate that like button, destroy it, literally press it so hard you will actually crack your screen. No guys, please do not do that. That would be absolutely horrible and I would be the person to blame. But anyways, we are going to end the episode here as already mentioned. So also comment down below if you guys, uh, not if you guys, but basically what sort of attack strategies you would like to see with this Clash of Clans Town Hall 8 account. This account is basically just for everything, like for trolling, for uh, literally, it, it is for anything, anything you can imagine. And at 1000 subscribers, I'm going to announce this now, I'm going to be making my own clan with this account. So if you guys want to uh, come and join, obviously we will have to hit 1000 subscribers first, which is a long milestone. But you know what, I think we will be able to hit it one day. But anyways, I'm getting off topic here. Basically, if you guys want to see another episode where I basically just use some random ass attack strategies, comment down below what attack strategy you, you would like to see me use and I will make sure to take it into consideration and probably I am going to use it in a future episode. So guys, also if you haven't already but you do enjoy my content, then please do make sure to smash that subscribe button. That would be absolutely appreciated and you will not miss out on a single video I'll make. I upload daily and that's going to be it for this episode. So you know what guys, I'll see you next time. Peace out.